We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for ya. In this video, we are going to continue work on this alternate color schemed Shadow Sun Mini, and we are going to paint a blue glow inside the vents of the Fusion Blasters. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave them down below in the comments. So before I get to the blue glow, I want to do a little bit of highlighting on the actual tip of the gun just to give myself kind of a base to work from. So I'm going to start with the color of the fang. I'm going to quickly dry brush this all over the black area of the gun tip. I don't need it to go on very thick, I just kind of want to give a little bit of differentiation to the black and kind of quickly pick out the sharp edges and make it look a little bit more highlighted than it is right now. After I've done a soft dry brush of the thing, I'm going to do the same thing with rust gray. Again, this is just a really light dry brush, concentrating mostly on picking out all of the edges of the gun. I want to make sure that I have very little paint on my brush so that it doesn't get streaky in any way. I've removed just about all of the paint and I'm just applying a lot of really soft, small strokes to build it up slowly. After I've finished with the dry brush of Rust Gray, I want to go back and mix a little bit of Lamian Medium into my Rust Gray paint. And I'm going to paint this as a line highlight, accentuating the boxy edges around the tip of the Fusion Blaster. I'm mostly concentrating on making sure that I highlight the outer edges and also this thin strip of black right where the tip of the gun meets up with the gun casing that I already painted. Once I finished with the outline of Rust Gray, I'm going to begin doing my blue glow. I'm going to start with a really dark blue and I'm going to use the color Cantor Blue. Again, this is mixed with Lamian Medium and I'm going to do that for all of my paints except for the shade that I use a little bit later. I'm doing my best to just get it inside the vents. I'm kind of using the bristles of the brush to my advantage. I'm getting the tip in there and then I'm applying a little bit of pressure to make the tip splay out a little bit so that it paints that whole inside area. I'm also going to paint the inside of all of the lenses inside the helmet. And I want to make sure that I get both sides of this fusion blaster. I want to get all of these slits and make sure that they all have an equal glow. Once I've got my base coat of dark blue, I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to begin with the color Caldor Sky. And this is going to kind of create my base color for this blue. And then I'm going to have areas that are brighter than it and areas that are a little bit darker as well. But this will kind of be my middle blue. I also want to apply this inside each of these vents, doing my best to just get it in that middle area. And as I apply this, I'm going to apply it over most of the fusion blaster vent. However, I am going to make sure that I apply it slightly more towards the top of each of these vents so that my glow has a source and I build up my brightness a little bit more in one area. And then I'm going to kind of taper off and have it be a little bit darker in the bottom and leave just a little bit of my Cantor blue in that area. My next highlight is gonna be Hoeth blue. And with this color, we really just wanna make sure that we only highlight the top area of the gun so that we can start building that glow towards the very top. So we're going to begin by applying this at the very top and then we're slowly going to drag it down and pull the brush away so that it creates a small teardrop look. And we want to pull it away so that the paint is only applied on about half of this vent. After the Hoeth Blue, we're going to need to mix some paint for our next highlight. We're going to take the color Caldor Sky and we're going to mix it into Ceramite White. We're going to do this about two parts white, one part blue, so that we create a really light blue. We're switching to a smaller detail brush and we're painting this inside our Hoeth Blue highlight. And we're doing the same technique where we start at the top and then drag it down as we pull our brush away to create a small little taper. And we're painting this over about 50% of our Hoeth Blue highlight. 
After that mixed paint, we're going to do one final highlight using pure ceramide white. And with that same small detail brush, we're just doing a small dot at the very top. We're not tapering this down like our other colors. We're just applying one final dot of highlight. The last thing we want to do is we want to take a little bit of Gully Man Blue Glaze and we're just going to apply a little bit of this at the very bottom of the fusion vents to create a little bit of shadow in that bottom area and to kind of blend some of our darker colors together a little bit more. It's going to create a little bit more depth and kind of make it so that we have a full gradient all the way from the white that we've got at the very top to this really dark color at the bottom. All right, and after that Gully Man Blue has dried, the fusion vents on this miniature are complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I paint all the red accent colors on the Shadow Sun Mini and the Mini Wargaming Vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a vault membership, you can go ahead and click the link, sign up for a seven day free trial, and get access to my video as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini wargaming vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial, and happy wargaming!